Son sommeil, puis pour fond, Madame Lisette Palette retourne sa route. In her deepest sleep, Madame Lisette Palette returns to Chagos, leaving the Mauritian slums where so many continue to follow her example. Standing in protest, against the lies and chaos orchestrated by the officials who claimed there were no indigenous people on Chagos, Archipelago, on Diego Garcia, on Perro Bajos, none on the sibling islands of Salomon, Egmont. And so the islands were swept and sanitized. An albatross was spared. And the order given, a few man Fridays must go. The slave ancestors who fished, loved and prayed across the centuries. The generations who dried the copra, coco, extracting the oil from the kernel of the nut. Even the boss of the copra plantation struggled to see over the rainbow. On the main island, Diego Garcia, the US base, camp justice squats. The Chagossians are still chanting, Ranu Diego, Ranu Diego, Ranu Diego. 30, 40, 50 years later, fighting for the right to return. Their loss is unimaginable. These guardians of the Chagos archipelago. Congratulations to these wonderful books. I hope you can take credit cards. <laughs> My book is free. I have 40 or so copies for the creatives that will join me in the Creative Collective. It's called Cool. It's creatives opposing oppression, occupation. Joining me in the Link Up Learning Lab. Cool. Just email me on sarahdesubrian.com. Sarahdesubrian at gmail.com This is the first time I've held this book. Here is a confession. I confess Madame Talet. I confess, Madame Talet. Au fait confession, Madame Talet. I gave in to despair and didn't move for days. When the elected members of Parliament in November 2016 refused to resettle the Chagossians, who were still living on despite there being knowledge of self-determination on the books and cross-party support to right this wrong, and despite there being adequate in-depth surveys of the region, and despite there being a friendly feasibility study, despite there being a court ruling in 2006 that gave entitlement to return to the Chagos Archipelago, and despite all this, 
You were right, Madame Tallet, to refuse their food. Sitting outside the Royal Courts of Justice on the Strand in October 2003, with your own sandwiches made by your own hands, it didn't feel proper. After all that had been said and twisted over, despite that you were found not to be a credible witness, but an unreliable witness, having not seen things you thought of as memory, despite it not being clear cut, but a kind of seam running as communal memory, and despite the stitches being legally unpicked, despite the stitches that dutifully go over what was once known and felt, despite the past stitch going over what was needing to be said in court, Madame Talet, your stitching of what was known and felt is what is needed to be said again today. Despite the UN General Assembly in May 2019 demanding that the UK withdraw its colonial administration. Unconditionally, within a period of no more than six months, despite Abu Lakwe, Ahmed Yusuf, the President of the International Court of Justice, eloquently delivering the opinion that the detachment of the Chagos Archipelago in 1965 from Mauritius was not based on a free, genuine expression of the people concerned. Despite the United Nations deadline passing on Friday, November 22nd, 2019, and despite the Mauritian government agreeing to the US base remaining on Diego Garcia, as long as decolonization is completed, despite me, sitting, listening in the gallery of The Hague, side by side with Janet Baptiste, Janelie Baptiste, third generation Chagossian sisters wanting to live their own lives, yet overlapping with your legacy, Madame Talet, living the change that never took place in your lifetime. Nor will it ever happen in theirs, or will it? Despite repeating the lines, their homecoming is not yet out of reach, not yet out of sight. The archipelago is not where one man lived, it's where they all remember living. Dans son sommeil plus profond, Madame Lisette Talet calcule sa gosse. Dans son sommeil plus profond, Madame Lisette retourne sa gosse.